Hi guys, Rob from Icebox Auto here today. Sorry to shout at you there, don't know what's going wrong with my voice. Uh, okay, today's install, as you can see, if I just go back a little bit, is on a Ford Ranger. So obviously everyone's familiar with the Ford Ranger because it's a beast of a car, big massive thing. So as you can see, this has completely revamped the dash. Obviously the old system, which is obviously quite bulky, has come out. And what do you get? A big bulky system. Um, now, this is the... Um, massive 13.6 inch screen um, as you can see there this is the dab radio here so obviously this is something that we've put on there but i'll just go back to the home page here so as you see let me just go with for you one second so as you can see this is the home page here on this massive screen so obviously it's an android 9 system with a px6 core board in there 432 gig of ram now this is classed as our prestige range on the tesla version there is loads of loads of loads of loads of loads of variants on the market which are dead cheap and nasty components inside they may do the trick but obviously this is the ones we would prefer to sell because obviously the quality we expect a long shelf life on our systems and obviously we don't expect them to come back with any issues so in our line of work when we don't hear from you we're made up because we know there's no issues with the system and that's what we aim to do so i'll just show you the differences between preview ones on the market and the ones we've got you can always tell by the quality of the icons along the top as you can see these ones are nice and clean and crisp ones that what you'll find on a lot of the cheaper variants is the big bulky icons and what you'll tend to find is the the, the components inside are substandard now you're not going to know about that because obviously you only know about these when if you're going to open up a system so obviously you just look at the performance but as i can say this is a um, our prestige model and you want to know the differences between the cheaper variants and this one if they do the same thing it's a ball about all about the build so it's a bit like going into the shop and buying both over panasonic you know one's going to be a better build with better components and the production costs are a lot more higher so that's why why is that it's because they're a lot more robust inside so there we go that's what gives you a little summary on actually the system and the entails and why this is a prestige model and why you're paying what you are which is obviously quite seems quite expensive to the naked eye but as you say you can't put a price on quality okay so it comes with navigation here on, on the top bar these bars can slide across uh, so obviously there's all your home page bars and as, as you can run along them you got your navigation there which is obviously all set up at the moment and showing google maps so obviously we all got, got radio here which is the radio now if you've got your steering wheel controls it works with them as you can see me going up and down there you go and next icon i'm going to show you is the music app which basically it's where you play all usb music um and it goes in through the cable of the system which we put in the glove box today same thing with the video you can put your movies on a flash stick and then basically play it through the um cable itself you've got your dsp sound processor, processor center so it gives you a lot of optimization on the sound where you can fine tune uh, speakers and bass and stuff like that so obviously it's a little, I'll show you a little running into this here. So as I say, a bit too technical for my liking, but obviously if you're always kid with your speakers and your amps, then this will be ideal for you. Last one, obviously your bass down there. Okay, so going to the next one here, which is your Play Store. So as you can see, this is the Play Store, which you need to set up to the customer's account, which we'll do before he, he leaves. But obviously this is where you download all your applications from. Explorer here is a browser, so obviously if you want to go looking for Icebox Auto products, you can search you through this app. Bluetooth, it's self-explanatory, obviously where you pair your phone up and get your, uh, your phone book support and your phone book um, would go in there once it's uploaded. And also you've got BT Music here, which allows you to stream your music from your phone. So there's loads of ways that you can get your music from the phone. Obviously, one way is just downloading apps like Spotify, YouTube Music, etc. onto there. Phone Link is a mirror link app. Which is this one here, I'll be truthful with you, it's a lot of the factories are phasing this uh, app out and not paying for the updated license on it, so you'll find it works with some phones and some with not. The uh, only reason being is because they're putting a lot of the money into now the CarPlay Android Auto app, which is here. Now this is where you obviously get your CarPlay or Android Auto, both on a wireless connection, but as you can see I've not connected my phone today, so obviously it's not going to show in there. File Manager gives you a lot of information on the back end memory. Uh, also if you were to put your any third party applications onto a pen, drive and go into the cable of the system it would show up here and then you can upload apks such as netflix and uploader now i say netflix because it's not compatible from the play store on these systems because they put a block on there for the obvious reason don't want you to watch it when you're driving which you shouldn't do anyway so you can put netflix on these which is obviously what we do during the install because we have it on a third party app put it onto a usb pen and upload it through there okay so this is just your app center here 
this is where, as I said, I'll just show you with the Netflix here, this is what we've put on today. As I say, we're quite happy to put our own apps on there and, and any preload, any apps that will be useful for you before your journey home. So you just give us a list of them, we'll do them during the install. Uh, so obviously this is where it'll show you'll see some other apps like the Talk app, which is for the OBD. Uh, a few little browser apps which are on the homepage. There's your Dab app there, which we've put on today and I showed you at the beginning of the video. And let me just go back to the homepage. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it anyway. So hope you enjoyed the movie, guys. Um, movies, not as so such, it's only five minutes worth of clip, but hope you enjoyed the video. And if you've got any questions, drop them in the comment section down below or get in touch with us on the contact details left in the description. Okay, you take care and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.